Hi, I'm Alejandro, and today I want to show you the millimeter wave over the air validation test reference architecture. This is a solution that we have put together to help you tackle the test challenges of new 5G millimeter wave beamforming devices. With this reference architecture, we're going to reduce test time, simplify your setup, and reduce the cost of doing these tests. We have here the millimeter wave VST, an instrument that can both generate and analyze both narrowband and high bandwidth 5G new radio signals. We also have a controlled RF environment here with this anechoic chamber. And inside the anechoic chamber, I have a 64 antenna element uh, beamforming array uh, powered by Anoki wave beamformers. So what I'm going to do is characterize this device in space and understand its radiation, its uh, radiated performance. We also have another component of the millimeter wave reference architecture in the form of the test software. And the first sequence that I'm going to run uses sort of the traditional method of using software commands to tell the positioner to move the device from one position to the next and then acquire the data at each position, acquire the RF measurements. And this can be a very time-consuming procedure. So what we want to do is make a contrast between the traditional method and NI's improved solution to reduce test time and the cost of characterizing and validating these devices. In my software here, in my test stand sequence, I'm going to run first this step-by-step -step sequence. Notice here that I, as I start moving, as the uh, test software starts moving the device under test, we are moving from one position to the next and at each position acquiring the RF samples, doing a total number of about 1,500 uh, measurement points in that sphere, in that 3D space. Notice here that I've started to acquire some of that information to start putting together the picture of what the radiation pattern for this beamforming device is. But as I only have a limited amount of samples, I don't know uh, what it's going to be. That's going to take several minutes to get that data. So let's fast forward in time a little bit and cut to our end time, the end of the test sequence, where we can see what were some of those results. So after about 10 minutes, we are done with this traditional method of scanning the space to understand the radiation pattern. And we can see here some of those visualizations, like the flat heat map, we can look at the 3D pattern plot and look at it at the characteristics of the beam or uh, look at the H and V cut analysis or even polar plots. Now let me switch over to a faster way of running these tests. So I'm going to execute now the autonomous sweep in which we're going to tell in a single command to start sweeping, we're going to tell the positioner to start sweeping, and as it moves, we're going to be triggering RF measurements and getting that data completely synchronized with the movement. That way, we don't have to start, stop, measure, start, stop, measure, but rather just start and then sweep, and as we're sweeping, take those measurements. So here in test stand, I run the sequence for autonomous sweeping. And notice how the positioner starts moving in a much smoother way. And as it sweeps from bottom to top and top to bottom, we are constantly acquiring RF samples. So we can do hundreds of sweeps or hundreds of measurements per second for a total um, number of steps closer to 6,000, which gives us much greater resolution and lower measurement uncertainty in a fraction of the time. So doing the whole sweep of the sphere, in this case using this autonomous mode, takes us about one minute. 
So in under one minute or one tenth of the time that it took us to use this software-based approach, uh, we can get a complete picture of the beamforming pattern of this device that we are testing. Let me go to the visualizer and take a look at the results. So now I can look again at the polar plot. I can do a cut analysis. I can also look at the 3D pattern to see a much smoother, smoother surface that shows me what is the behavior of that beamformer. And in addition to that, I can also look at the EVM performance in space and notice that there are some areas in this plot there are some areas in which the signal to noise ratio is so low that I can't really compute an EVM number I can also then switch to adjacent channel power both for the upper and lower channel in space. So one of the advantages of using the millimeter wave VST is that with the same instrument I can do um, the sweep using high bandwidth signals, 5G new radio signals, and get information that's more complete in a fraction of the time. In summary, with the millimeter wave over-the-air validation test reference architecture, you can tackle those challenges of characterizing the spatial behavior of new beamforming devices for 5G uh, deployments. Today I've shown you the software that allows you to run these autonomous sequences, cutting down those test times, the VST that helps you to route the signal bi-directionally so, so that you can do away with switched configurations, and also that allows you to generate and analyze both narrow band CW signals and 5G new radio high bandwidth signals. To learn more about our solutions for 5G test, please visit ni.com slash 5G.